Hi guys, welcome to this session on edge computing by IntelliPad. Now before we get into the session, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon for further notifications. Data is the lifeblood of modern businesses, providing valuable business insight and supporting real-time control over critical business processes and operations. Now today's businesses have ocean of data and huge amount of data can be routinely collected from sensors and IoT devices that operate in real time from remote locations almost anywhere in the world. But this virtual flood of data is also changing the way that business are computing themselves. So in this video, we are, we are going to talk about edge computing. So let's look at our agenda for today. First, we are going to see what exactly edge computing is, its definition and a quick introduction about it. Next, we are going to see origin of edge computing. Next, we are going to see how exactly edge computing work with real-time scenarios. Fourth, we are going to see edge computing use cases and examples in what industries we use edge computing and like that. And finally, we'll jump into benefits and challenges of edge computing. So without wasting any time, let's move on to our topic. So what exactly is edge computing? Edge computing is a distributed information tech architecture in which client data is processed at the periphery of the network as close as to the original source as possible. In simplest terms, edge computing moves some portion of storage and compute resources out of the central data center and closer to the source of data itself. Rather than transmitting raw data to a central data center for processing and analysis, that work is instead performed where the data is actually generated, whether that's a retail store, a factory floor, a spalling utility or across a smart city. Now let's see the origin of our edge computing. The origin of edge computing can be tracked back to 1990s when Akamai launched its content delivery network, that's CND. The idea back then was to introduce nodes at locations geographically closer to the end user for the delivery, such as images and videos. After that, in 1997, their work demonstrated how different types of applications like web browsers, video and speech recognition that are running on resource constrained mobile devices can offload certain tasks to powerful servers. The goal was to relieve the load on computing sources and as proposed in a later work to improve the battery life of mobile devices. Now today, for example, speech recognition services from Google app, Apple and Amazon work in a similar way. Now in 2001, scalable and decentralized distributed applications were used as proposed different peer-to-peer -peer overlay networks. Now these self-organizing overlay networks enable efficient and fault-tolerant routing, object location and load balancing. Moreover, these systems also make it possible to exploit the network proximity of underlying physical connections in the internet thereby avoiding long distance links between peers. This not only decreases the overall network load, but also improves the latency of applications. Now cloud computing is a major influencer in the history of edge computing and therefore deserves special mention. It attracted almost every attention in 2006, the year when Amazon first promoted its Elastic Compute Cloud. This opened up a raft of new opportunities in terms of computation, visualization and storage capacity. Nevertheless, cloud computing as such was not the solution in all use cases. With the advent of self-driving cars and IoT for example, there was an increasing emphasis on local processing of information in order to enable instantaneous decision making. Then in 2009, the term cloudlet was introduced. In Cloudlet, the major focus was on latency. Specifically, there was a two-tier architecture. The first tier is known as Cloud, which has very high latency, and the second as Cloudlets, which has lower latency. The Cloudlets are decentralized and widely dispersed internet infrastructure components. Their compute cycles and storage resources can be leveraged by nearly mobile computers. Moreover, a Cloudlet only stores a soft state such as cached copies of data. In 2012, Cisco introduced the term fog computing. They introduced fog computing for dispersed cloud infrastructures. The aim was to promote IoT scalability. 
that is to handle a huge number of IoT devices and big data volumes for real time low latency applications. Now today an IoT solution has to cover a much broader scope of requirements. We see that in most cases organizations opt for a combination of cloud and edge computing for complex IoT solutions. Cloud computing typically comes into play when organizations require storage and computing power to execute certain applications and processes and even to visualize telemetry data from anywhere. Edge computing on the other hand is the right choice in cases with low latency, local autonomous actions, reduced backend traffic and when confidential data is involved. Now that we have some rough idea about how edge computing came into the picture, now let's see how edge computing exactly works. The principle is very straightforward. If you can't get the data closer to data center, get the data center closer to the data. Now this was the principle behind edge computing. The concept of edge computing isn't new and it is rooted in decades old ideas of remote computing such as remote offices and branch offices where it was more reliable and efficient to place computing resources at the desired location rather than rely on a single central location. Edge computing puts storage and servers where the data is, often requiring little more than a partial rack of gear to operate on the remote LAN to connect and process data locally. In many cases, the computing gear is developed in shielded or hardened enclosures to protect the gear from extremes of temperatures, moisture and other environmental conditions. Processing often involves normalizing and analyzing the data stream to look for business intelligence and only for the results of analysis are sent back to the principal data center. Some examples include retail environments where video surveillance of the showroom floor might be combined with actual sales data to determine the most desirable product configuration or customer demand. Other examples involve predictive analytics that can guide equipment maintenance and repair before the actual defects or failure occur. Still other examples are often aligned with utilities such as water treatment or electricity generation or to ensure the equipment is functioning properly and to maintain the quality of output. Just a quick info guys. If you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPath has an advanced certification in cloud computing and DevOps by ENICT IIT Roorkee. This course is of very high quality as it is taught by IIT Roorkee professors and industry experts. Now let's continue with the session. Now this is the most interesting part. We are going to see edge computing use cases and some examples. The first example is manufacturing. An industrial manufacturer deployed edge computing to monitor manufacturing, enabling real-time analytics and machine learning at the edge to find production errors and improve product manufacturing quality. Edge computing supported the addition of environmental sensors throughout the manufacturing plant providing insight into how each product component is assembled and stored and even how long the component remain in the stock. The manufacturer can now make faster and more accurate business decisions regarding the factory facility and manufacturing operations. The second one we can have a use case as farming. Consider a business that grows crops indoors without sunlight, soil or pesticides. The process reduces grow times by more than 60%. Using sensors enables the business to track water use, nutrient density and determine optimal harvest. Data is collected and analyzed to find the effects of environmental factors and continually improve the crop growing algorithms and ensure that crops are harvested in peak conditions. The next use case we can have is network optimization. Now edge computing can help optimize network performance by measuring performance for users across the internet and then employing analytics to determine the most reliable low latency network path for each user's traffic. In effect, edge computing is used to steer traffic across the network for optimal time sensitive traffic performance. One more use case we can see is improved healthcare. The healthcare industry has drastically expanded the amount of patient data collected from devices, sensors and other medical equipment. That enormous data volume requires edge computing to apply automation and machine learning to access the data. Ignore normal data and identify problem data so that clinicals can make immediate action to help patients avoid health incidents in real life. 
Uh, one more example I can give you is transportation. Autonomous vehicles require and produce anywhere for 5 TB to 20 TB per day. Gathering information about location, speed, vehicle condition, road condition, traffic conditions and other vehicles. And the data must be aggregated and analyzed in real time while the vehicle is in motion. Now this requires onboarding computing. Each autonomous vehicle becomes an edge. In addition, the data can help authorities and businesses manage vehicle fleets based on actual conditions on the ground. Now this might be our future guys. And the last use case that I can give you is retail stores. Now retail businesses can also produce enormous data volumes from surveillance, stock tracking, sales data and other real time business details. Edge computing can help analyze these diverse data and identify businesses opportunities such as effective end cap or campaign. These predict sales and optimize vendor ordering and so on. Since retail businesses can vary dramatically in local environments, edge computing can, can be an effective solution for local processing at each store. Now that we have seen some cases and examples of edge computing, let's see the benefits and challenges that actually edge computing brings in the market. Let's first see the benefits of edge computing. The first benefit is autonomy. Edge computing is useful where connectivity is unreliable or bandwidth is restricted because of site's environmental characteristics. Examples include oil rigs, ships at sea, remote farms or other remote locations such as rainforest or desert. Edge computing does the compute work on site, sometimes on the edge device itself, such as water quality sensors on water purifiers in remote villages and can save data to transmit to a central point only when connectivity is available. By processing data locally, the amount of data to be sent can be vastly reduced requiring far less bandwidth or connectivity time that might be otherwise be very necessary. Now a second benefit edge computing brings is data sovereignty. Moving huge amounts of data isn't just a technical problem. Data's journey across national and regional boundaries can pose additional problems for data security, privacy and other legal issues. Edge computing can be used to keep data close to its source and within the bounds of prevailing data sovereignty laws, such as European Union GDPR, which defines how the data should be stored, processed or exposed. This can allow raw data to be processed locally obscuring and securing any sensitive data before sending anything to the cloud or primary data center which can be in other jurisdictions. The last one we have is edge security. Finally, edge computing offers an additional opportunity to implement and ensure data security. Although cloud providers have IoT services and specialize in complex analysis, enterprises remain concerned about the safety and security of data once it leaves the edge and travels back to the cloud or data center. By implementing computing at the edge, any data traversing the network back to the cloud or data center can be secured through encryption and the edge deployment itself can be hardened against hackers and other malicious activities, even when security on IoT devices remains limited. Now let's see what are the challenges of edge computing. The first challenge we have is limited capability. Part of the allure that cloud computing brings to edge or for computing is the variety and scale of resources and services. Deploying an infrastructure at the edge can be very effective, but the scope and purpose of the edge deployment must be clearly defined. Even an extensive edge computing deployment serves a specific purpose at a predefined scale using limited resources and few services. The next challenge we have is connectivity. Edge computing overcomes typical network limitations but even the most forgiving edge deployment will require some minimum level of connectivity. It's critical to design an edge deployment that accommodates poor and erratic connectivity and consider what happens at the edge when connectivity is lost. Now autonomy AI and graceful failure planning in the wake of connectivity problems are essential to successful edge computing. The third challenge we have is security. IoT devices are very insecure, so it's vital to design an edge computing deployment that will emphasize power device management, such as policy-driven configuration enforcement, 
as well as security in the computing and storage resources including factors such as software and patching updates with special attention to encryption in the data at rest in the flight iot services from major cloud providers include secure communications but this isn't automatic when building an edge site from a scratch the fourth and final challenge that we have is data life cycles the main problem with today's data is that there is so much data that is unnecessary consider a medical monitoring device it's just the problem data that's critical and there's little point in keeping days of normal patient data most of the data involved in real time analytics is short term data that isn't kept over for a long time a business must decide which data to keep and what to discard once analysis are performed and the data that is retained must be protected in accordance with business and regulatory policies now you guys must be wondering what companies are there that are using edge computing now these are the top companies that are using edge computing for a very long time i hope you like the video and stay tuned just a quick info guys if you want to make a career in cloud computing then intellipat has a advanced certification in cloud computing and devops by enict iit roorkee this course is of very high quality as it is taught by iit roorkee professors and industry experts that's it from our side guys if you have any questions regarding this put them in the comment section below and stay tuned for more from intellipat